Welcome back to Beam and G Drive, and today we're back on a mission here on career on, or in career mode. Um, we did some changes to the B uh, to the BX, uh, as you guys can see. We did paint it. We also changed the wheels and tires. As you can see, we got new wheels and tires. We got new brakes. Um, we also went ahead and installed a bigger cargo on the top of the roof, as you guys can see. Uh, just so we can hold a little bit more We did load up the car and so we got quite a bit here. So We have a couple deliveries here around town and so I'm gonna take you guys along and do some deliveries I wanted to do an exhaust But I say yeah, no, that's not gonna happen because the exhaust wind up totaling uh, it costs like fourteen hundred fifteen hundred dollars to do the exhaust so i say yeah that's not gonna happen <laughs> so uh with the weight of everything uh the car has you can tell the car is weighted down the physics of this car is pretty it's pretty realistic i'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> there is no traffic <laughs> i don't understand it I might have to do a um, use safe mode playing this uh, so you can see traffic. But until then, uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna test it out and see if it works like that. But I think it has something to do with one of the mods that I have in here that's like corrupt. Like it's interfering with the mods. I mean, it's interfering inter interfering with the stock cars, and the game don't like to load them. So anyway, we're heading over here to the docks. This is one of our deliveries. I think this one's paying $94 to deliver it. So that's why we're heading over here first. You know, just go ahead and deliver it. You know, it's $94 to deliver it. So yeah, they're higher priorities. We're heading right over there. Try not to tear my car up because, you know, I do own this car. You don't want to dog it out. And this is the stuff that you got to start taking into consideration when you start doing career mode is try not to tear your stuff up. Try not to tear it up because that's the challenge in itself. So here it is. This is one of our deliveries right here. There you go. And as you can see, we made $143 on it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Don't expect to get rich off of it, but you're definitely going to need the money. Because you also have insurance, you got gas, uh, and everything like that. So it's it's important. I'm going to head. I could have. No, that's a delivery. Never mind. Let's see how we get up there. I hope we can get. Can we get to it from the track up here? I think this is just going to be on the track. It might take you up there. Huh. It gets you close anyway. I think you can take the pit. Take the pit up here. Pit lane. And then you can make a left. Yeah. There's a there's a the actual way to get in here. I went the wrong way. That's my bad. Anyway, we made it. We made the delivery. That's our final, as you can see. Bam. Alright. Just like that, we done made all, all deliveries. Now I wanted to check something else out here. So, if we open this up, you know, uh, this right here is a good little side mission, side gig to do. Let's head over back down that way, check it out. 
Because they have challenges and stuff that you can also make money off doing. So I wanted to see what this is about. If I'm not mistaken, they do... There's a car that they give you to do the challenge. All right, go this way. And then you cross the track. Make a right right here. See right here. Okay. Challenge career. Use the map to locate a challenge. Drive to the marker. Drive to its marker and stop within the mark challenge. Follow the screen instructions. Pretty simple, right? So this is the butt barrel tracks. Knock over as many barrels as you can before time runs out. And we're going to try it. their position or tipped over to count all right pretty simple just tip them over but you gotta remember they're filled with oil they're not empty barrels so these are heavy heavy things oh i should have got more speed all right let's do it let's just do it it keeps when you hit it it just it pushes you so let me like that, yeah. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I didn't mean to do it like that. <laughs> no, I missed it. Let's just keep going. I didn't mean to do that. I know I can do better. I know I can do better than that. Uh, it, it count, it count. As long as you tap it, it's, it count. Keep it going, keep it going. Get off a little bit. Okay, come on, come on, come on. It counts. As long as you knock them things over. Part of me thinks I did go the wrong way last time, so this 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 time it's better. Okay. Well we did better and it does count. We we can we can continue doing it, but uh we I think that I, I consider that a success, you know. Not too bad for your first time trying out, so I can't complain. Anyway, so you you guys see how that went. If you honestly, if I can could have hit that drift better, I could have got them. I could have got them. You know, I was trying to e brake, but <laughs> e brake with a controller is not as easy as if you had like a wheel full of stuff. I do have a wheel, I just don't have it set up. And uh yeah. So anyway, let's see what else we got around here. So honestly, I think we just we gotta just grind a lot, realistically. Let me see something. What they have around here? Yeah, I do have to go all the way over there. Let's. Oh, I don't know about that though. That's 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 some heavy stuff. We could head over there in town. Let's do that. I don't know if I can haul any of it, but we're going to see if they let me. All right, it should be somewhere around here. Oh, I see. It's over this way.
Fuck yeah, I figured they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let me. Are you kidding me? Well, we damaged the car. <laughs> For the first time. The car still runs and drives. But I definitely damaged it. Alright. Let's stop at the motel. I'm just tearing this thing up. Well, that didn't help. They have anything around here in this area. Anything. Alright, let's head over here. There's a thing that's paying out actually $1,300. And so I want to check this out. I need the money now because I done completely almost tore my car up. So I'm going to have to get it fixed. It still runs and drives as long as it's not pulling. The steering wheel still is straight. So it's just going to look funny. We got to go on the other side. They want is right here by the toe. Something to do with a cannon. Great. That's what tangled my car up the last time. Watch it. Okay, so here we go. So basically, we're doing bowling pins. Do some bowling. In the challenge, you have to take out every single one of those pigeons from afar to win one event. Don't hesitate to change the camera view to a better angle of your slide. Their page up, down, and just the cam, can, uh, the cannon, a or tab to fire. Okay, we messed around with one of these cannons here before. If I'm not mistaken, our first shot that should do. Gotta get a nice little height on this though. I don't know how far we're going. That gotta be something. I mean, it's something. Come on. Straighten you up. Straighten you up. Straighten you up. Okay, how'd that look? Yeah. I say that's uh, something. We can lift this up here. Let's go up. Go up with it. Go up with it. Go up with it. Go up with it. Go up. Okay, move this a little bit. Go up with it a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Fire! <laughs> Gotta be something. Yes, that's something. Perfect, yeah. I got that. Took that out. Cool. One pigeon's down. Got another one. Back you up a little bit. All right. Lift this thing up here. I'm thinking that's gonna be off of something, but I don't know. Fire. Perfect. Ah, <laughs> yes. Alrighty. Remove it. Something like that. That should hit that red one. Let me get it in position here. I don't know. It's a risk, but I think it might actually hit the red one. I don't know. Fire. Ah, we done completely jumped over the dang thing. I should have lifted up, but, you know, I did get four out of six, so I'll take it. 
I'll take it. But anyway, we done took care of that. We're going to head back over towards the shop because I'm going to have to get this car fixed. It doesn't need it, but, you know, I like to have a, 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 a nice car. And plus, I just want to see how much it's going to cost to fix this because I definitely, that curb messed me, like that, that, that curb messed me up. I hit the curb, and I also, I ran over the, um, that parking thing, and, yeah. So, that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a very interesting repair. If it's, if it costs too much, then we're just gonna just leave it. But, if it's something cheap to fix, then I'll just go and fix it. Alright, so, here is the repair option here. So, as you can see, um... Repair time instant. Repairing will rise your policy score by 0.5%. That is if you was to do a quick repair, which we don't really need a quick repair for this. You could do a standard repair. Um, that's 10 minutes that you're going to... We'll have to wait 10 minutes. Oh, man. Regardless, we're going to have to use the insurance to fix the car if we are going to do it. I don't think the car is worth doing that, though. You might just drive it as is, because... But a 0.05% doesn't sound like a lot, but also $500 isn't cheap, neither. So, um... Yeah, you guys might just see the car looking like this for a little while. Just because, yeah, I'm not going to be able to fix it. So, I can fix it, but I don't want the, the policy to go up. So, now, um, I don't know. Until we get done doing all these deliveries and stuff, it just doesn't make sense to have a perfect looking car to do deliveries. So, we're just going to drive it. So, I don't know, 0.0.5% or 0.005% doesn't sound like a lot but it's not cheap neither five hundred dollars or twelve hundred dollars yeah i don't got that kind of money 20 minutes later oh you gotta be kidding me really they got me with the dang traffic violation man that's baloney five hundred dollars we ain't gonna make no money that's all the money from this delivery so i'm not making nothing ain't that so Gotta, gotta be careful in this area. We better watch them cameras. <laughs> you better watch these cameras in this area, boy, because they get you. $500. <laughs> so, yeah, 30 miles an hour. I'm going to keep it at 30, too. I don't know. I don't know this area like that, so I'm trying to be careful. Also, I want to check out um, the commercial dealership because they do have... A dealership that you can buy a nothing but commercial stuff like vans and trucks all right so that's 43 dollars so there you go all righty i don't know if it's this one i think it's another one though but i want to see what type of cars they have in here Because this one's supposed to be like higher qualities and stuff. Oh yeah, see there? So this one, you have the really nice one. The really nice cars and stuff. And also, as you can see, like you also have mods that you can... So I can also... I can actually own a F8 Ferrari for 205000 So that's pretty cool that they actually allow mods to actually be in the dealerships. Anyway, I gotta check that other dealership too while we're out here and see. Alright, so let's head back this way. So we gotta go to the, the island. This dealership here, I don't know. I'm trying to see which one, like what all these dealerships sell. So that way we know when we actually get some money. This one's new in you. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at you. If we could just get a U-Haul truck for nine grand, man, that's perfect. Nine grand for a U-Haul truck? 
That's on my list right here. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's exactly. But you also got to realize the commercial insurance is like five grand. So you're going to need about $18,000 to be able to buy it. So that's on my that's on my radar. That's the next thing we're going to buy is that box truck. And so we can start fixing this car back up because I, you know, I kind of wrecked it. So that's how we're going to do it. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. We start out with this, then we get a box truck, and then after the box truck, then we'll get a semi truck, and then we can do that while we're doing some racing on the side, of course. That's $500. That doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're trying to fix a race car, you need every bit of, you need every money that you can possibly save up to get. I don't know what I'm saying. Shut up. I'm trying to navigate directions, and I'm getting lost. Uh, I think I gotta go up, so I can take this. But yeah, it's gonna come in handy when you're trying to build a race car. That five hundred dollars gonna go something else. I'm gonna go up. I'm also I'm hoping that that container don't bust that window out because it's not tied down or anything in that back seat, and it's just sliding back and forth from every turn I do. So I'm just hoping that don't happen. All right, so we're going back to the docks, as you can see. We're going to probably be coming over here a lot because the docks pay really well. The docks pay like $94 of delivery doing the car, doing it with the car. So that's why I keep going back here because you can't go wrong with a little $90 in your pocket. You ain't about to catch me, camera. You thought. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> $99. We almost level two. I'm trying to, I'm trying to level up to level two so we can take on bigger deliveries, which pays like a uh, hundred and fifty dollars. So that's what we're trying to do. This is a lot of grinding, man. A lot of grinding, but it's it's fun. I really do enjoy it. You know, it gives you, it's very relaxing. Um, I wish traffic was on though, but traffic is on. It's just not spawning. They're not moving. I got to figure that out. Once when I get that fixed, you know, the game will come to life. But it's, uh, I do like it, though. It's, it's very relaxing. You know, it gives you the purpose. You know, you can run around, make some money, do some challenges, make some, you know, do some deliveries, you know, to basically just build a car collection. But you're, you're trying to, you're basically starting from scratch. What would be a really good idea if you had, like, um... You know, come from like a beat up car, like either a beat up car or like a beat up pickup truck and try to make deliveries doing that. And then what you'll do is, you know, you that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. I'm telling you, if you could do something like that, that's perfect Cause start from scratch. A really I'm talking like a beat up truck that keeps breaking down and try to build like a, a like an empire that's that's that sounds dope man i might try it one day i'm definitely i'm definitely gonna try it when this thing come like fully developed how you get off this island <laughs> you gotta go this way the belasco city san amara amara all right i'll see you guys in the mainland this is our last delivery all right here's our last delivery right here Bam. We're so close to uh, level two. But there you go. $137. We got to pay for that ticket, so we ain't making nothing. Eh? Like always. Anyway. We got to do a lot of running around. A lot of running around. A lot of it. So I'm going to end it here because I'm about to do some grinding off camera. And... Just want to show you guys the update that I did to the car before I wrecked it. And it looked good when it when I first showed you guys. It doesn't look so good now. But, you know, maybe we'll get it fixed when the next time. Maybe not. Okay, I'm lying to you. I'm sorry. Uh, but the next time you guys see, we should have, uh, we should be level two. And we should definitely have at least five grand. Let's hope. All right. So, anyway, guys, hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.